Here's a pretty unusual car I've been asked to represent. We had to go to Central Florida and uh, put it on a trailer and bring it back down here to Pompano. The car does run. We got it running once we got it here. Uh, we were running it out of an auxiliary gas can, not to contaminate the, you know, the carburetors or fuel lines. We don't know what they look like or or anything. But the motor runs excellent, and believe it or not, the air compressor for the air conditioning kicked on. So I think with with a little uh, little juice inside of it, it uh, it may be cold. I don't know. This is a limousine. Uh, kind of a rare. A rare bird. I'll tell you that every light worked. We put a battery in it because there was no battery in it. Uh, every light came on and did everything that it was supposed to do. The gauges worked. Uh, the tires are uh, are wide whites with uh, plenty of tread on them. There is some cancer down at the bottom, uh, but the underneath of the car is in very good condition. The uh, the bright work, as you can see, is perfect. Um, the front side of the limousine you can see. Um, very unusual again that it's a left hand drive. Most of these were built right hand drive. This car was in, I believe the story is for the ambassador of Mexico. The car has a tag on it from Mexico. You can see the uh, air conditioning unit, the telephones. Uh, you can also see condition of the wood. The wood does need to be replaced in the front or, or, or refinished I should say. Uh, but it is all there. There's everything everything you need is there. I'm gonna just go down and show you some of these areas. Okay as you can see there is the divider and we go to the back uh, back area and this is what's amazing. This is absolutely a perfect interior. I, I, I don't know. I, I, I would have thought if anything was going to fall apart it would be this and it's absolutely perfect. I, when I say perfect, you know, perfect for being a 1978 anything. Um, Headliner is in great shape. Uh, the rear package shelf, as you can see, is uh, deteriorated a little bit but uh, around the air conditioner. Um, the doors, door panels, everything works. Um, I want you to hear that's how it sounds when you close these doors showing you the corners of the doors down below to show you that they're not all cancerous the trunk is in remarkable condition I got a still picture showing how perfect and how solid it actually is Again, here's a little bit of the rust issues that it does have. I'll flip this back so you can... As you can see, it is completely solid. There is nothing there. Rear air conditioning unit, as you can see. The chrome and the bright work, as I said, is all good, except for the exhaust tips, obviously. It's got all the four hubcaps and uh, trim rings. Paint, obviously, it definitely needs paint. Probably painted once in its lifetime, and you know, it's just a horrible job. Um, and here it is from another view. Again, as I said, I believe it's from the uh, uh, Mexican Embassy. Well, that's what I. Uh, there is a still picture of the vent plate mounted in the back door. Still has the Daimler uh, uh, original floor mats with it, which I thought was kind of unusual. And there's a little little piece of uh, leather that's gone. As I said, the gauges, uh, when we got it started, I peeked in here real quick. And again, I didn't want to run it too long because, you know, it hasn't been run in uh, over a year and a half. And, I wasn't going to take any chances of bringing anything into this thing that might might be a problem. Um, you know, out of tanks and so on. So, you know, you, you probably figure 
uh, drain the gas tanks and points plugs to you know the whole nine yards. Check the cooling system out. I don't know how good the hoses are anymore. Um, but there, there, you, there you have it. There you can see the interior. It's got a uh, 58,000. 58,000 miles and I'm going to take it to be original. And here you can see the problem with the hood. Um, there's a couple of holes in it and the holes are from the adhesive they used to hold these cards up and we, we had to bring these cards uh, these cards up by, by hand and put a wire across to hold them up and get them out, up out of the way but every place they put some glue is where it rusted on the hood um, I'm gonna let you look at the grill and the bright work that's there and all of these lights were operating including directional signals give you a good look at the back area here back area. Look at the engine, I should say. Uh, as I said, we tried the air conditioning, the compressor kicked on, so I don't think there's anything much wrong with it. Uh, but it's just your general uh, six-cylinder Jaguar motor from 1978, so it's nothing, nothing super exotic. Uh, again, no more of the rust issues. But the underside of the car is remarkable. It just isn't any... Uh, it's just a straight, solid car, and I guess being from Mexico originally probably probably is the reason why. <laughs> Come out here and take a, a full picture of it for you. There you have it, Daimler Limousine. Nineteen seventy-eight. I don't know how far you can uh, how far you can drive in it uh, um, right now, but uh, it's uh, it starts, runs, stops, and shifts. So you got it all. My name is Earl. My number is 954-444-0850. It's an unusual car. Ask me any questions. I'll answer them the best I can. I'm not an expert on these. Um, and uh, give my client an offer. If you, if you think it's worth something, call in and uh, you know say I offer X amount of dollars. If they're willing to sell it, it's gone. That's about how easy it is. Thanks for looking.